guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a reverse canvas. You're gonna need some baby wipes, acrylic paint, a nail gun, an X-Acto knife, some kind of iron-on vinyl, a canvas, and then also either an iron or a heat press. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my canvas over and I'm gonna cut off the canvas. I'm not going to worry about the staples. I'm just going to leave those because in the end, you're not going to be able to see them. Once I get the canvas off, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess around the edges. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the frame. I'm going to use acrylic paint. This one is by Apple Barrel and it's Nutmeg and I'm going to use baby wipes to apply it. I'm gonna use parchment paper underneath, underneath my frame. You can use newspaper if you want to, whatever works best for you. And now I'm gonna use the baby wipes to apply the paint to the frame. I used to use wood stain, but I didn't really like the smell or the look of it. So I just use this color and I think it looks really great on the frame. Once I get most of it covered, I go ahead and take a paintbrush and get in the cracks or the areas that I can't reach with the baby wipe. Now that the frame is completely painted, I go over it one more time with a wipe to get all of the access off, and I set it off to the side, and then I go ahead and clean up my mess. And then I go to Cricut Design Space to design what I'm gonna put on my canvas. You can design it however you want. This is what I chose to put on mine. I used I Love Glitter from Defont, Dot com and then I also used in the end Baskerville for a portion of it and you'll see here in a few minutes I changed my design a couple times but just so you can see what kind of goes into it also a tip make sure that you weld your letters together so that way when it cuts out, it's just easier and it looks nicer and more clean cut on your frame.
now that you've got everything the way that you want it in the correct size I'll go ahead and attach everything together that way it's all cut in one piece and not in a bunch of different sections and makes it easier whenever you lay it on your canvas I go ahead and send it to my machine and then also make sure that you mirror your image since it is iron on Now that your design is cut out, go ahead and weed out the excess. Now that you've got everything weeded, go ahead and set it on your canvas, make sure it's the right size, get your heat press or iron ready. I place a towel underneath and then I apply parchment paper on top and then go ahead and press your design onto the canvas. Now that your design is on your canvas, you can go ahead and get ready to put it back onto its frame. What I do is I get my bright pad and I put it up underneath the frame and turn it on. That way I can make sure that my design is lined up on the frame. Once I see that straight, I slowly pull it off and I staple the corners. I flip it over, make sure it's good to go still and then I cut off more excess of the canvas. And then I go ahead and add a few more staples. Now that the canvas is complete, I go ahead and add a sawtooth hanger to the back. Make sure you use a ruler and center it and then apply. And here is the finished product. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.